Hello and welcome to the another workflow and tip clips on Autodesk small flow. Today's clip I'm going to discuss something on to the directional tool called Autodesk small flow advisor, a tool for designers and engineers. Before I go and start demonstrating the tool how it could be used as a directional tool, I want to give a quick glance on what module it comprises of. Autodesk Advisor Premium and Autodesk Advisor Ultimate. Premium particularly useful for the designers and engineers who are particularly looking for the manufacturing feasibility of the component, whereas the Advisor Ultimate caters to the tool makers and a tool engineers who are interested in validating their tool designs. A quick glance on to the capability wise, as you can see that Advisor Premium can work on to the two types of mesh, dual domain and advanced 3D, and we also call it as a meshless technology because most of the things has been assumed by the software onto the mesh corrections and getting the geometry ready for the analysis. But if you look at the advisor, it has advisor ultimate. If you have capabilities of like runner balancing, cooling analysis, and warpage analysis, this is particularly of interest for the tool makers and tool designers. Very quickly, we will glance on to the capabilities of the of the advisor premium and ultimate, and want to give an overview that it has a complete access of more than ten thousand materials. Plus, we can also give the information on to the fit systems and how it could be balanced or unbalanced. That can be very much be checked for it. So give the guidelines on the gate sizes and how does it impacts on onto the shear rate and thereby temperature. It has a full-fledged gate location analysis and some of the results that I would like to take you during the demonstration, but like we can check short, short weld lines, a trap, sing marks, and most important is the cooling analysis, where we can check whether the how is the part behaving with respect to the given cooling channels, and most important is the warpage predictions. So let's quickly get onto the demonstration. I have a part over here where I have modeled the fit system as well as the cooling channel. I know when it's working onto the advisor, it much tedious to model those cooling channels and fit system when there is a complexity. To reduce the efforts, what I have done is that I model the cooling channels, uh, I have modeled the curves in these channels, and I would be importing these directly into the advisor. How to go about that? I'll show you. There is a two way to do this one. You can directly push in from the uh, from Fusion 360 to the advisor, or you can save this file as a step file, and, and then you can re-import it. In today's demonstration, I'm going to go with the latter step that is going to save as a step file and then going to import uh, one by one those files. So let's get back to the demonstration. I'm going to import a part over here. Keep the units as it is, and let it clean up. As I said, that we also call it a meshless technology, but in the background, it creates the mesh. The algorithm is well designed or well tuned to correct the mesh automatically, provided you have an exact or neat and clean geometry. This completes the import and cleaning up the geometry and meshing. The first and foremost thing then that I'm going to do is setting up the gate locations. In this case, I'm going to set up like in three gate locations. They have been offset by 30 degree to the each. Probably you have an options here. You can, you, you can set it more precisely with the coordinates if you know that one, but for then uh, for a demonstration purpose, I just want to get started quickly. And then I'm going to change from part type to a single cavity. This creates a bounding box around it. And from the geometry, I'm going to set a parting plane. By default, it goes and set the parting plane at the gate points, but I want the parting plane to be here. So just click on wherever you need it, the parting plane to be. Apply it. And now you are into the complete mold design frame. I'm going to size the mold. Uh, 
mold in such way that it looks much appropriate. This in this direction, okay. Looks proportional from this side. From this side and this side as well. Well, you have an options to input all this one, or you can also go for the symmetricity. This completes the mold block for us. Now I'm going to import a cooling system, which I already have kept it as an IGS file of the cool, cooling curve that I have extracted out of it. I'm going to apply. So the most tedious part of modeling of the cooling channels has been done. You can see that it has imported the cooling channels, but I also have to model the hoses. So in this case, I'm going to little bit resize my mold so that gives the options for the hoses. But automatically the hoses are being created. Go into the view and check those bonding box and then cooling intersections and more outlines. Now this gives me access to change the properties of these cooling channels. First and foremost, I'm going to change these uh, baffles. They are modeled as the cooling channels. I'm going to quickly change that properties as the baffle. Going to right click and properties and from channel, I'm going to change this as a baffle. And baffle 8 mm, that's fine, perfectly fine. Close it and also the dimensions of these cooling channels, I'm going to change it. You can see that how quickly I can go and change those dimensions. And from this, I'm going to change this as 8 mm as well. Or let's put a little bit 6. And for these hoses, I'm going to change these dimensions from default 10 mm to 8 mm. Then go back onto the geometry and I'm going to set the cooling inlets for this, 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 okay? Now coming is a modeling of the feed systems. I know it looks to be tedious process, but trust me, it's, it's the most easiest way to go about. I have, can choose the, whatever the type of gate that I'm going to design. In this case, I'm going to design a gate or um, you know default cutting gate. So, I'm going to start with a 4 mm diameter and end up with the 1.2 diameter. You can change those things and close it. Uh, I, instead of going with the default gate properties, I'm going to define the my properties or locations where I want it. In this case, I'm going to put it the point in the center, very precise in the center. Yeah. And for this also, it is in the center. You can see that it has created that one. And creation of the sprue, I'm going to say that, okay, sprue is going to be sent point and dimensions of the sprue can be changed over from here, starting with a 3 mm. Okay, and apply it. So you can see that very quickly, I have created the, my gate sprue and cooling channels as well. That's it. I am ready to run the analysis. Let's look at uh, for the time. Uh, for, to save the time, I have already run the analysis, and this is how the results looks like. Let's look at the cooling result, which I'm I'm of interest. You can see that my coolant has started with 30 degree, and maximum it has reached by another like 0.3 degree rise. But most important part is one to check that temperature part and you can see that the temperature part uh, is around like an around like 45 to 50 degree over here but this is the portion this is has to has to be cooled a lot which is very close to the field system and of course you can look for the warpage results as well in second clip of this video I'm going to do a comparison so stay tuned for that I hope you like the today's video and how easily we can get started with the advisor product. Thank you for your time.